This is a list of tetrapods that are semi-aquatic, that is, while being at least partly terrestrial, they spend part of their life cycle or a significant fraction of their time in water as part of their normal behavior, and or obtain a significant fraction of their food from an aquatic habitat. The very earliest tetrapods, such as Ichthyostega, were semi-aquatic, having evolved from amphibious lobe-finned fish. Some marine mammals, such as the marine otter, the polar bear and pinnipeds, are semi-aquatic, while others, such as the sea otter, cetaceans and sirenians, are fully aquatic. The only fully aquatic nonmarine mammals are several manatees the Amazonian manatee and some populations of African manatee and certain small cetaceans river dolphins, the takuki, and some populations of Irrawaddy dolphin and finless porpoise. No bird species is fully aquatic, as all must lay and incubate their amniotic eggs, as well as begin raising their young, on land or ice. Similarly among marine reptiles, sea turtles are almost fully aquatic, but must come ashore to lay eggs. Marine iguanas and partly marine crocodiles such as the saltwater crocodile and the American crocodile are all semi-aquatic. Most sea snakes are ovoviviparous live -bearing, and fully aquatic the exceptions being the oviparous, semi-aquatic sea krites. A few freshwater snakes are also ovoviviparous and fully aquatic e.g., Erpitan tentaculatum and Acrocordidae, but the majority are semi-aquatic. Most amphibians have an aquatic larval stage and are at least semi-aquatic for that reason, but there are many exceptions to this generalization. The aquatic component of a semi-aquatic species lifestyle may be either obligatory or facultative to varying degrees examples of the latter are the arctic fox, jaguar and green iguana. Note, dagger symbols have been used to indicate a listed taxon as extinct. Topic. Mammals All extant fully aquatic mammals except the sea otter are found in two clades of exclusively aquatic species, Cetacea and Sirenia. The extinct Desmostylians are also thought to have been fully aquatic these groups are thought to have become fully aquatic about 45, 40 and 30 ma ago, respectively. In contrast, semi-aquatic mammals are widely distributed throughout the class. However, extant semi-aquatic swimming marine mammals are restricted to carnivora among which, pinnipeds apparently appeared about 20 ma ago. Semi-aquatic carnivorous rodents have been noted as having larger than normal brains for their size, possibly as a consequence of using their vibrissae for acoustic detection of prey. Monotremes Platypus Marsupials Lutrine opossum Red kangaroo, may flee to water to escape a predator and then turn the tables by attempting to drown it if still pursued. Water opossum or yapok. Tenrex. Otter shrews. Web-footed tenrec. Ancestral sirenians. Fossils are known of transitional semi-aquatic sirenians, such as the 50-ma-old pezoziren, which was a hippo-like quadruped. Proboscideans. Merotherium. Asian elephant Sloths Thalassochnus, this marine genus of Pacific coastal South America arose about seven ma ago, and its most recent species may have been fully aquatic. Primates Allen swamp monkey Crab-eating macaque, feeds opportunistically, but some populations dive for crabs in mangrove swamps. Proboscis monkey Humans, some cultures have practiced marine freediving for subsistence for over a thousand years. In the case of the Sama Bajau of maritime Southeast Asia, evidence suggests that genetic adaptations facilitate this lifestyle. Rodents Castoromorpha, beavers, pocket gophers, and kangaroo rats. Beavers Caviomorpha, New World Hystricognaths. Capybaras Koipu Paca Myomorpha, mouse-like rodents Crab-eating rats European water vole Fish-eating rats Link rat or Congo forest mouse, Deomys ferrogenius, an African murid Marsh rats Muskrat Swamp rats Water mice Water rats or wading rats Lagomorphs Marsh rabbit Swamp rabbit 
Eulipotyphlins, Desmans, Star nosed mole, Water shrews, Bats, Noctilionidae, Bulldog bats, a family with only two species, both semi aquatic, one eating aquatic insects, one mainly fish, Vespertilionidae, Vesper bats. Mouse-eared bats, several species of this mostly insectivorous genus are piscivorous to varying degrees, such as Myotis vivesi, an exclusively marine species, M. pilosus, M. macropus, M. macrotarsus, M. stockeri, and M. dobentoni. Carnivorans, while semi-aquatic mustelid are widespread, semi-aquatic felids are known primarily from South and Southeast Asia, while semi-aquatic canids are best known from the Neotropics. Canidae, foxes, jackals and wolves Arctic fox, coastal populations exploit marine food sources, such as fish, invertebrates and seaweed, and sometimes hunt ringed seal pups on pack ice British Columbia wolf Bush dog Dole, often drive their prey into water bodies Short-eared dog Mustelidae, weasels and otters Minks Otters, except the sea otter, Pinnipedia, seals, sea lions, and the walrus. Procyonidae, raccoons, crab-eating raccoon, Ursidae, bears, Kodiak bear, and other salmonid specializing brown bear populations. Polar bear, Felidae, cats, fishing cat, flat-headed cat, jaguar, facultatively semi-aquatic, i.e. Have an affinity for water and exploit aquatic prey in a rainforest or floodplain environment, but may also inhabit more arid habitat. Tiger Herpestidae, mongooses Crab-eating mongoose Viveridae, civets and genets Aquatic genet Otter civet Parasodactyls Rhinoceratidae, rhinos Indian rhinoceros Javan rhinoceros, Sumatran rhinoceros, Tapridae, tapers, Artiodactyls, Bovidae, ruminants, Anoa, Satatunga, Waterbuck, Wild water buffalo, Cervidae, deer, Chinese water deer, Marsh deer, Moose, Per David's deer. Hippopotamidae, hippos are the closest extant relatives of the fully aquatic cetaceans, which are considered a subgroup of artiodactyls. Tragulidae, mouse deer greeter mouse deer. Water chevrotain. Yellow striped chevrotain. Ancestral cetaceans, descended from terrestrial artiodactyls. Fossils are known of transitional semi aquatic cetaceans, such as the 43 ma old Paragocetus, which had both hooves and webbed feet. Topic. Birds The great majority of semi-aquatic birds are found within three clades whose members are mostly semi-aquatic, Acrolytorniths, Anseriformes and Gruiformes, thought to be about 64, 47 and 41 ma old, respectively. Accipitriformes, diurnal birds of prey, semi-aquatic members are the sea eagles, osprey, and to a lesser degree, marsh harriers and palm nut vulture. Acrolytorniths, a waterbird clade recognized in 2015, which includes most marine birds. Ardi, Acorniths, wading and diving birds. Boobies and cormorants. Ostradoptorniths, Albatrosses, Penguins, Petrels, Loons, Pelicaniforms, Hammercops, Herons, Egrets and Bitterns. Ibises and spoonbills, pelicans, shoebills, storks, Europygomorphi, sunbittern, tropic birds, caradryiforms, shorebirds, ox, including the flightless penguinus, gulls, skuas and allies, waders, sandpipers, painted snipes, jacanas, ibis bills, avocets and stilts, oyster catchers and plovers. Mirandorniths, Flamingos, Grebes, 
Anseriforms, waterfowl, mostly freshwater, but include some marine species e.g. the kelp goose and sea ducks, including the flightless chendites. Ducks, geese, and swans. Magpie goose. Screamers. Corachiforms, many kingfishers are semi-aquatic but not the others. Gruiforms, most but not all of the order is semi-aquatic, mainly freshwater but with some e.g. the clapper and mangrove rails in brackish or marine habitats. Cranes Finfoots Limpkin Rails, including crakes, coots and gallinules Passeriforms, dippers are the only semi-aquatic passerines. Some others like swallows, icterids, the seaside sparrow and the bearded reedling are often found close to water but don't normally enter the water. Strigiforms, nocturnal birds of prey, just fishing owls and fish owls are semi-aquatic. Non-avian dinosaurs Only a few non-avian dinosaurs are thought to have been semi-aquatic. While the Mesozoic had many types of marine reptiles, the combination of being oviparous and endothermic seems to have prevented the evolution of fully aquatic dinosaurs, as in birds. Theropoda Paravez Aviolae Ichthyornis, a toothed ornithurin analog of modern seabirds such as gulls and petrels Hesperornithes, a mostly flightless group of diving bird-like ornithurans. Dromaeosauridae. Halscoraptor, a mallard-sized basal dromaeosaurid from Mongolia with flipper-like forelimbs. Megalosauria. Spinosauridae, thought to be piscivores, the group had crocodile-like skulls and includes some of the largest known carnivorous dinosaurs. Ornithischia. Ornithopoda. Hadrosauriforms. Lurdosaurus, an unusually heavy-bodied and short-limbed iguanodont conjectured to have been similar in lifestyle to the modern hippopotamus. Topic. Pterosaurs A number of types of pterosaurs are thought to have been piscivores, and a few are suspected of being molluscivores. Eudomorphodontidae Eudomorphodon, has been found with fish remains in its stomach. Rompharynchidae Rompharynchus, commonly found with fish and cephalopod remains in its stomach. Dorignathus, heterodont dentition implies piscivora. Tenochasmatoidea, most had webbed hind feet and long torsos, adaptations for swimming and floating, and are inferred to have lived in coastal or lake environments. Pterodontia, many in this clade were piscivores. Boreopteridae, apparently freshwater surface swimmers or divers. Nyctosauridae, later members were similar to ornithocherans. Ornithocherae, soaring marine forms that were aerial dip feeders like frigatebirds. Pterodontidae, some may have been pelagic plunge divers like gannets. Asdocoidea. Asdarchidae. Alanca, suspected of being a molluscivore. Desingariteridae. Desingariteris, another possible molluscivore. Topic: Other reptiles. Semi-aquatic forms are widely distributed among extant and extinct reptiles, and extinct semi-aquatic or fully aquatic marine forms were once ecologically prominent. Charistidaires resembled crocodilians in many respects but were not closely related and were generally more fully aquatic, they survived until the Miocene. Champsosaurus, a late Cretaceous and early Paleogene sexually dimorphic charistidaire in which the females appear better adapted for terrestrial life, probably to facilitate egg laying. Crocodilians, a great diversity of extinct relatives dating back to the late Triassic include terrestrial, semi-aquatic as well as fully aquatic marine forms. Lizards Aegialosauridae, semi-aquatic late Cretaceous lizards that evolved into fully aquatic marine mosasaurs, who appeared and rose to dominance after an anoxic event eliminated ichthyosaurs and pliosaurs. Basiliscus, basilisks, corydophanids able to run across water. Chinese crocodile lizard, a monitor lizard relative 
Chinese water dragon, an agamid analog of the green iguana. Crocodilurus, the crocodile tegu, and Dracaena, caiman lizards, neotropical teed monitor lizard analogs. Galapagos marine iguana, the only extant marine lizard. Green iguana, facultatively semi-aquatic, i.e. Dives into bodies of water when available to escape predators, but may also live in xeric habitats. Earless monitor lizard, another monitor lizard relative. Monitor lizards. Asian water monitor. Merton's water monitor. Mitchell's water monitor. Nile monitor. Sailfin lizards, agamids also able to run across water. Waterside skinks, often live along streams and use the water to escape predators. Snakes. Anacondas. Aquatic coral snake. Cottonmouth. Crayfish snakes. Ferrancha, mud and rainbow snakes. Garter snakes. Sea krites. Water cobras. Water snakes. Turtles are mostly semi-aquatic. Fully terrestrial examples include box turtles, tortoises, and some Asian box turtles. There are no fully aquatic examples, as all lay their eggs on land. Rhynchocephalians, represented today only by the terrestrial tuatara, but several Mesozoic lineages became adapted to aquatic lifestyles. Paleoplorosaurus, probably semi-aquatic. Topic. Amphibians Amphibians differ from other semi-aquatic tetrapods in that their semi-aquatic lifestyle is ancestral, rather than being the result of a secondary evolutionary trend from a terrestrial state back towards an aquatic environment. Thus, they are the only tetrapods to possess gills. All extant amphibians that are semi-aquatic or fully aquatic inhabit freshwater habitats, with the exception of the crab-eating frog, which also exploits brackish habitats. Most amphibians have an aquatic larval stage and thus are at least semi-aquatic by virtue of this fact. Many adult amphibians are also semi-aquatic while others are fully aquatic or terrestrial. However, some amphibians lack an aquatic larval stage. Some frogs, such as most leopelmatids, most ranixolids, some leptodactylids, some myobatrachids, Darwin's frog and the Seychelles frog, have non-aquatic tadpoles. Some Sicilians, many frogs such as saddleback toads, most suglossids and the greenhouse frog, and most plethodontid salamanders lay eggs on land in which the larvae develop into adult form before they hatch. The alpine salamander and African live-bearing toads nectophrinoids and nimbaphrinoids are ovoviviparous and give birth on land. Additionally, about 75% of Sicilians are viviparous. Temnospondyls, an early group of amphibians, reaching sizes up to those of crocodiles, whose adult stage was variously fully aquatic, semi-aquatic or almost entirely terrestrial. Among the aquatic forms, the Triassic tremosaurids adapted to a marine lifestyle. Most anurons, frogs and toads, but not the fully aquatic pipids, or fully aquatic members of other families such as Telmatobiidae. Some Sicilians, such as Ichthyophiids, Rhinotrematids, Cathonerpatin and Nectosicilia, but not including other fully aquatic Typhlonetids. Most non-plethodontid salamanders, but not including the fully aquatic amphiumids, cryptobranchids, proteids, sirenids and various neotenic species and other families, such as Ambistoma mexicanum. Topic. See also Amphibious fish Aquatic animal Aquatic ecology Aquatic mammal Diving bird Freshwater biology Marine biology Marine mammal Marine reptile Seabird Wading bird Water bird Notes <laughs>